If you're a photographer who's been shooting for any number of years, you've probably got a massive hard drive that's full of still images and video content, and your video ranges anywhere from 480 SD content to 720 to 1080, and probably most recently some 4K. And as I was going through my images this weekend, I was going, oh, look at the video there. Uh, too bad it's a 720. I wish it was a 4K. Well, guess what? There is a way to upscale or enhance the video content you have so that it looks like 4K. Hi, I'm Bill from CoolWildlife.com, and today I want to walk you through Topaz Labs Video Enhance AI, which is an upscaling program that will allow you to take some of that footage that, quite frankly, sucks and make it look like 4K. When you boot up the software, the first thing you're going to see are three splash pages. All right. The first one, and I'm going to take you through the processing settings, but it takes you through what the possible process settings are. The next one, and pay attention to this little section called clip selection. What that allows you to do is clip out just the section of the video that you want. So if you've got a nine minute video, you only want to clip out a minute and a half, you're able to do that because the rendering of these videos takes quite a bit of time and so if you can just process the part that you want you will save a lot of time and then the last splash screen talks about how to export your video and so on you really this program is very intuitive okay and i'm going to walk you through just how to use it so we'll close this out up in the top left you've got a file where you can add video You've got preview that lets you see 50%, 100%, 200%, and zoom to fit. And then process allows you to choose whether you want your CPU to process the image or you want to process it with your video card. And if you've got a good video card, I recommend you use this one, the video setting, which will make things a lot quicker for you. So we're going to open up our first video. You can just click in the blue box. It's a left click with your mouse, and it'll take you to the folder. Uh, I've got it preset up, but go to the folder that has the video that you want to open. Now, just to show you, if I right click on this video that we're going to pull in and I go down to properties, you can see under details that it is a 1080 by 1920. So this is a 1080p video that was shot on my Nikon D5 and I will cancel out of that and we will bring that video in and it is of a red fox that I shot in the winter up in Algonquin Park. Now, up in the top left-hand corner, you see this bar, this teal bar. This is a slider. And if I left-click and hold down on this little white bar, I can drag the video across that slider to any point in the video that I want. Okay, and I want to get this part of the video where he tucks his head into his body and goes to sleep. So I'm going to back that up. There he's staring me down in the barrel of the lens. I want it right there. All right. Now you can see that it's turned this section that I just slid by a little bit of a different color of blue than this teal. And up in the right hand corner you see two pairs of scissors. The first pair of scissors allows you to clip off the front section and the latter pair of scissors clips off the back. So let me click, left click on this pair of scissors and boom, that clips the front end of the video. Now I will drag this again, left click drag until he tucks his head into his body and starts to go to sleep. His eyes close, he's tucked in right there and I will go to the scissors on the right and clip and now just this section of blue teal here is the section that we're going to get. So where he's staring at us and then he goes back to sleep. Now we have to make some decisions with regards to how we want to render this video. You're going to leave this AI model up sampling on HQ. Okay, there is a lower quality and a CG quality. Leave it on HQ. Okay, under preset. Click the drop down and you're going to see some standard definition options, HD options, and 4K and 8K options. We've got a 1920 1080p. I'm going to take it up to a 3840 2160 4K today. And then leave it at MPEG 4. 
Okay, and then the only other thing you need to do to process this image is go down here to the bottom left. There's something called Start Processing, okay, and you click on that and it'll start things up. Now I'm using a trial version, so I'm going to close that. And then it says initializing the AI engine and it may take several minutes. So we close that out and on the left hand side, what you're going to see when it does finally render is the Fox in a 1080p. And on the right hand side, you're going to see the rendering that will be happening on the 4K side. And you'll notice up here that that bar is now moving across the screen and you can tell that each frame is being processed as the your slight movement of the fox as this gets processed, right? What I do want to point out to you, if you look at the image on the left, especially around the eyes and the fur on the forehead and the fur underneath the chin on the 1080p on the left, and then go over to the right and take a look at this 4K image. And hopefully you can see what I'm seeing on my screen. The, it is so much sharper and crisper in the 4K image that's being rendered, okay? So this will make its way across to the end of the bar. And in the essence of time, uh, I've already processed this image and I'm gonna go show you under Explorer what you are finalized image will look like or your your video and so it will come up looking like this 384021 HQ okay I've changed it over here this is the video that I rendered previously to show you what it would look like and so let's bring that up there it is and he tucks in and goes to sleep and that's how simple this is it's now rendered as a 4k sample which uh, is just fantastic that you're able to do that with some of your lower quality footage. Now, while we're here, I did another video and you'll find it on the channel uh, for Topaz Video AI. And so up here in this folder, I actually chose to, ch to render TIFF images. And so each one of these is a frame from that same video. I'll hover over one and you can see that I rendered it at 7680 4320 and it's 187 megabytes and if I open that up for you okay, that is one of the frames from the video I find it amazing that I'm able to take a video selection and pull out a high quality image like we just did because oftentimes I'm trying to decide do I want to shoot video or do I want to shoot stills well now I have the ability to pull a still out of a video footage which which is mind-blowing to me that that the quality that I'm able to get for a still image and remember this is not an edited image at this point uh, I would do the editing I would normally do on this image and then it's ready to be posted up to my gallery so that's just one additional thing that you can do with this Topaz Video Enhance AI software. If you're thinking of purchasing any Topaz Labs products, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd use Cool Wildlife 15 as your coupon code. That'll save you 15%. I hope you enjoyed viewing this video, and I hopefully it's something that will be enlightening to you as much as it was to me because I'm just amazed at what I was able to do with my footage. So uh, I hope you enjoy using the software and have a great day.